What's going on everybody? Isaac here, Civil Engineering Academy. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're diving into a geotech problem under that falls under site characterization and specifically subsurface exploration. So let's dive right into it. It says a geotech engineer is tasked with planning a subsurface exploration program for a proposed 20-story office building. This site is located in an area with varying soil conditions, including layers of clay, sand, and gravel. The engineer needs to select an appropriate depth of exploration using guidelines from the FHWA NHI 06-088 manual. It was also predetermined that the pile group dimensions were 15 by 15 feet for the office building. So how are we going to solve this? Well, the first thing we're going to do, if you don't have it, is go download the FHWA NHI 06-088. So if we went and did that, you would get this guy right here. So if we go check this out, this is the Soils and Foundations Reference Manual Volume 1 from the FHWA. I'm just going to do a quick search on here because some of the keywords they told us, and you obviously on the exam would have this, this handy FHWA manual on the left side of your screen as you're taking your exam. But some of the keywords I'm looking for are maybe exploration, um, uh, maybe depth it's something to do with depth, but let's try Explore. So if I go look at Explore, it brought up three results. I'm just going to go kind of peruse this. And this is the one I really like right here. 3.14, Guidelines for Minimum Subsurface Exploration. This will help us out with this problem. And they also provide this handy table in here, Table 3-13, Guidelines for Minimum Number of Exploration Points and Depth of Exploration. So on the application here, in our problem statement, if we go look at it, they were we are tasked with exploring a proposed 20-story office building. So if we have a 20-story office building, we know we are looking at uh, something with a deep foundation. So we're going to go look over here for a deep foundation for our building. So right here is deep foundations. Boom. Minimum number of exploration points and location of exploration points. Well, it says here for subsurface or for substructure like bridges, piers, or abutments with less than or equal to 100 feet, a minimum of one per structure. For su uh, substructure width greater than 100 feet, a minimum of two points per substructure. That's great. We're not looking for that information. We're looking over here for minimum depth of exploration. In point one here, it says in soil depth of exploration should extend below the anticipated pile sh uh, shaft tip elevation a minimum of 20 feet or a minimum of two times the max pile group dimension, whichever is deeper. Okay, all borings should extend through the suitable strata such as unconsolidated fill, peat, highly organic materials, etc. They have some other rules here too. Maybe we need to pay attention to if you're in rock, what that looks like, etc. So in our case, they told us that it's a minimum of 20 feet or two times the max pile group dimension. That's the key word. So if we go here, we were told our pile was 15 feet. So in our case, we're going to have to take um, 15 feet simply. If we multiply that by 2, that gives us 30 feet. And if we go look that up again, that uh, we need to find the minimum of 2 times the max pile group dimension, whichever is deeper. Well, 30 feet is definitely greater than the 20 feet they told us. So we're going to go with 30 feet um, because we, we they told us a pile group dimension. We want to make sure we use that in our solution. So if you chose 20 feet, you would get this one wrong. The answer here is 30 feet. That's the one we want to go with. So the answer here is D. Hopefully that was very helpful. Definitely grab that uh, FHWA manual, start reviewing it. Uh, questions can pop up on the exam dealing with it, but this deals with subsurface exploration. And uh, hopefully that was good, and we'll see you in another one. Bye.